Okay then, Kitty Banklers. Banklers, Kitty Banklers. Uh, 30 minutes later, and the stock cube is a go go. So, yeah, we contemplated not having a J, but I'm about to go to work on Saturday, so. And this is a very exciting day. My wife has done the thing. Oh, Mr. 15, his father of 990, is absolutely obsessed about his chemicals at the minute. Don't know where he gets that from. So we'll clean out the stock cube. Hey, the land bank, sorry. We have put some matrix in the food. We've got some. We've been kind of kept them kind of dry. We had a wee, the, the wee bit drink this morning, but not a lot. They've kept them kind of dry. And from here forward, they will have coon in their water every day. And as a dandy would say, I don't know any different. I don't know what normal water is. So they should be a bit dry. So we will go forward here. So I can get my shit together. And we will get the ring numbers, put them in the book, stick them in the land bank. I'll shut off the exit at the moment so I can put the two yearlings in as well. We should show the scruffies how to get a bit of scran. Give it a couple of days, I'll put the yearlings in when the stock cube with the dandy stuff until Madge is ready with a secured area and I think the yearlings are probably going to go over to Madge I'll open up the trap and once the Scoobies find the trap game on Jimmy was very keen that I just locked them all down but I'm not doing that Richard's very keen to fly a couple just to see if they're any good but they won't be flying this year so they'll be part of my 300 miler yearling platoon which is the aim of my game Fly all these long distance bread birds to 300 miles, see who stands up, and then a two or three year old, then pop them over the water. What could be simpler? Seems fucking dead easy. So these chaps are going to be absolutely ecstatic to arrive in Galloway tonight, because guess what? It's fucking pissing down. 